we're in Exodus 33, today verses 12 to 14. Let's see what happens next. Then Moses said to the Lord, See, you say to me, Bring up this people, but you have yourself have not let me know whom you will send with me. Moreover, you have said, I have known you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now, therefore, I pray you, if I have found favor in your sight, let me know your ways that I may know you so that I may find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people. And he said, my presence shall go with you and I will give you rest. So we're in the middle of a conversation here between God and Moses. And Moses is pleading with God not to just be so much at a distance, but let's come in and be close to the people, which is what God wanted to begin with. But the people sort of messed that up. Moses uses an argument here that's interesting. He points out that he has found favor with God. You know, you already kind of approved of me before, uh, and now I'm making this request of you again. And so Moses is uh, kind of getting kind of uh, bold here, but it's not a disrespectful bold. It's uh, it's the boldness of a friend. God and Moses are on a, a pretty close line here. They are friends. God is still God, and Moses is still man. God is infinite and in his love. Moses is just a, a, a human person who is dependent upon God. We all are. But Moses is seeking God. He's finding God's ways. He, he loves him and he wants to be like him. And he is also shepherding these people. And so, yes, what we have here is uh, Moses is coming on and he's looking to bring God in closer to the people. Now, did you notice God's response here? Okay, okay, I'm going to go with the people. Verse, verse 14. So that's what God wanted all along. That's what Moses wanted all along. That's what the people uh, said they wanted. And I'm, there was some figuring out what they really wanted. But uh, this is what is wanted now. And now God again is, says, okay, I'm going to go with you. So the people apparently came up somewhat up to the line spiritually. And uh, it's going to be, they're still going with, he's still a holy God. He's still... Uh, calling them up higher. And as we go up uh, to higher ground with God, he is going to bless that. He's going to bless that desire. He's going to feed that desire in us and help us to draw close to him. So God is good. He is so good. And here uh, Moses has been continually thinking on this, praying on this, pleading about it. And he approaches God again, makes the direct request again, again, after the people have done what? After they've take care of, uh, taken all the idolaters out, after they have um, demonstrated their repentance by taking the ornaments off of themselves, uh, things like that. After they've done successfully, you know, done the things that they're assigned to do, they've shown who their heart is with. And now Moses approaches and he says, hey, listen, could you reconsider, you know, we'd like you to come up, uh, come in closer. Would you take us? If your presence doesn't go with us, uh, we're, 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 we're lost puppies here. So... Uh, we're going to see that today, and we'll carry on tomorrow morning. So see you tomorrow morning again.